our channel. I'm Erin. I'm Melissa. And we are Two Sisters Artistry. And today we are doing a brow video. We wanted to start um, a short series where we're just showing you guys individual things. I know it can be confusing with two people. So we just wanted to show you guys our routines and today we wanted to show you brows. Charlie Brown. <laughs> well, and this is where we're at. Well, I hope you guys like. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming back. And enjoy. Cheers. Wait, can we cheers this way? Clink. Gross. So, yeah. I usually, I guess everyone starts like a little bit differently, but I always start with just a brow pencil just so that I can start to like figure out what shape my brows are going in, I guess, and then I fill them in. So I have been working on mine. Um, what I've actually been doing is I've been taking this brush right here. It is a um, tapered brush and it says eyeliner. eyeliner. It's a tapered brush and it says eyeliner brush on it. It's like an e Essence of Beauty, which is like Eco Tools or whatever. But um, I like it because it's a little bit bigger. But I use this to, to shape, shape my brows because it's it's quicker for me because it's a longer line that you start off with. <clears throat> um, but I'm using my Kat Von D Super Brow, 24 hour Super Brow. It's amazing. It will budge. So, it doesn't budge, however, it is really creamy. When oh, you start yeah. Off. It's like very soft. You just in need the to, like, pot. just barely dip it in there. Which I don't ever do. And also, I always spoolie my brows out first just to make sure all the hairs are in one direction. And when you do draw a line, you don't draw over the hair and make it all wonky. And then I start with my bottom line. I don't know why. I do too. I, don't, I always yeah. start with the bottom. And typically when I'm at the front, I'm using a lighter hand than I am in the middle. So that way I can blend this out easier and this is going to be a little bit darker. So I just go straight in because I know that I can blend it out. Um, I try to stay as tight to my brow line as possible. You can overline if you want, if that's what you're going for. Um, but that's up to you. I saw a picture of me from that wedding again. In your brows? And my brows. So I figured out what it was. I thought it was that the tail was super long, but it's not. It's that the front of the brow was a little bit longer um, and didn't meet dead like in the middle. It was further out to the outside of my brow, of my eye, um, which I really liked. So the brows look gonna... great in that picture. Try that. So I'm just going to stop right on this pimple. <laughs> Hi. And uh, then taper it out. I also stay pretty close to my brow line just because I kind of like the size of my brows. I'm not trying to go for a super thick one. So it looks crazy until you fill it in and, and finish it up. And of course, so does everything else. Honestly, brows used to take me like no time at all because I didn't really care about them, but now they're like one of the longest parts of my routine because I'm so like anal about them now. Yeah. Like if the line's crooked or anything, I'm like, ugh, drip nuts. I haven't waxed my brows in probably a year. Same, same. It's I'm been trying a to grow long mine out. time. I don't know that I'm trying to grow it out. Like I'll get like a random every now and then that I yeah. pluck, but yeah. So I'm gonna zoom in on this just so you can see. So I've got my bottom line, my top line, and then I've connected them on the edge of the brow. Okay. Same. Well, I've just got my bottom line, and then also on mine, kind of weird, but. On my top line, I actually don't start at the front of my brow. I start, like, right here. Away from the wispy. Away from the wispies, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I can, like, just get some little, like, feathered action. Everybody has a different brow preference, but I like mine feathered towards the front. I feather mine first so that I can see where I'm drawing that line in case I mess it up and go too far. I then I can, like, fix the line on top and it'll still match. There you go, yeah. I was literally about to say brows are so important because they're the window to the soul, but that's your eyes, not your eyebrows. So close, though. So close. Really I close. I almost had it. Yeah. And if so. you get too much in the front, it's totally cool. The spoolie is what blends on your eyebrows. It blends the product out. Yeah. My left brow is my demon brow. Same, because I have to go like this. Yeah, really but it's also really an ugly brow. Like, oh. 
brow itself doesn't grow as shaped as my right brow, but that's okay because sister is not twins, right? Yeah, mine are like cousins right now, mm. like second cousins, family adjacent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From there, I'm gonna go in. I I just really like this brow gel. I'm gonna pick a smaller mirror just so I can see a little bit better. Is it the black one? No. Um, I said brow gel. I meant the brow pomade. I do very much enjoy that pomade. Yeah, I really like it. But like and even it's even though it's creamy, once mm -hmm. it dries, it just it's not going anywhere. Nope. Didn't even move on my hand. Like, I had to scrub it off. <laughs> and y'all, it kind of dries quick. Um, I don't really usually have a lot of time to play with it. So I go in and kind of blend out that line. As best as possible. I've got some stragglers. Um, some hairs that probably need to be plucked. But... So right now you can probably see that it's just kind of all one color. I don't really have like the wispies in the front yet. Again, because it dries so fast, I want to just go quickly through it um, with my little spoolie. So I watched The Green Mile. You've never seen it? I've seen parts of it, but I was it was like years ago oh, when this little mouse dies. Oh shit, dude, so sad. So, so sad. I started my cycle. Oh, fine. Like two, three days ago, and then watched the saddest movie on the planet. I was like In ugly tears. crying. Yeah, no, it's, like, it's really sad. Like couldn't breathe. I like got pink eyes the next so, day because I was rubbing my eyes. Like that movie's so sad. I oh seen it in years. my god! It was like midnight. It's a long movie too. And Steven's like, "Let's go to bed." I was like, "There's only like 30 minutes left." And he's like a good guy in the whole movie, but everyone's like treating him like he's a shitty guy. Yes. Just cried and cried and cried. Yeah, it was really sad. It's really sad. I've actually been watching a lot of happy things lately. I saw Deadpool 2 the other day. It was literally the funniest movie I've seen in, in a all. Long, in a really long time. Like, we watched Blockers the other day, the one where they're mm -hmm. making a sex pact. Yeah. And I was so pumped for that movie, and it was just like... Eh. <clears throat> eh. Yeah. I wasn't, like, super pumped for it. But... There was, like, two funny parts in it. John Cena was the best part of that whole movie. Well, he's the best part of a lot of things. That's true. That's true. Um, so I'm just going in with my Dip Brow from Anastasia and Soft Brown. I don't know why I have Soft Brown, but it's been working for me, so it's still here kicking. Yeah, and I'm doing my wispies. I'm just doing short, hair-like strokes. T -t 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 -t. Um, keeping in mind that I can always wipe them off yeah. if I need to. Um, but just kind of starting at the bottom and ticking upwards. Um, I do find that the brow whiz is better at doing this than the brow. I can't remember what that one's called. <laughs> definer. Brow definer. Yeah. yeah. So I think this is where my brow life is at right now, which is a lot better than it was in like January. Much better. Yeah. Yeah. Much it's, better. A, it's a whole other world. Um, but I'm also going to show you guys some of the oh, some of the old products that I used to use. Um, so again, I'm using the Kat Von D, uh, Super Brow, and the Anastasia Beverly. Words. I haven't filmed in so long I know. that I can't do this. I know. Okay. okay. The struggle's real. So I use Kat Von D, Super Brow, 24 Hour, and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, and they're both in taupe. Um, I also just dyed my hair, like, blonde again. So I feel like the taupe looks really good with my blonde hair. And taupe is generally like a pretty good universal color. Like mm -hmm. if you're not sure, taupe is a safe bet. Yeah. So when I'm like quickly glue them down, let's move on. I use the uh, Elizabeth Mott Queen of the Fill Brow Gel. I got this in like a Ipsy or something. Love it. It is in light medium. Which is strange. And really, I just go in, it's a tinted brow gel, and you just brush it through. I'm not really putting a lot in right now because I have a lot of color in my brow. Does so it have like fibers in it? Is it that one? Uh, no, the uh, brow food is the one that has right. the fibers in it. That's right. And um, I do like that one as well. It's just really dark, the one I have. So, so I just kind of got done filling mine in, and I don't draw my tail out. I like to use the dip brow to do that just because I feel like it's a little bit like your tail could go wonky if your hand's a little shaky like I don't know. And then 
I just kind of spool it out to blend out the front a little bit. <laughs> and not make it look like it's just a harsh line of dark, thin light. And the brow gel that I use, my ride or die, which is like, girl. She's empty. <laughs> she's getting she's real empty. ready to. Um, is the Givenchy Mr. Brow Groom. I just use a transparent one. It just looks colored because of my brow products. But I wasn't, I don't think you were wild about the Anastasia one either, just because it felt like my face was like, yeah, hi. Can't yeah. Move. yeah. Can't move. And on. even though it was just your brows, your mouth couldn't move, your eyes couldn't blink. Like, it's none like of I just had Botox done just yeah. on my brow hairs. And so I like this one a little better because they stay in place, but it's not like I can't move. Mm -hmm. And it's just to keep your hairs in place. Like, if you think about what you use hair gel for, just to like. Mm -hmm slick your hair down, brow gel does the exact same thing. Yeah. I bought the NYX clear brow gel. It's in a full tube, like a mascara tube. Um, it's like 9 to $12 ish. And it works pretty well. It's, yeah. it's even less sticky than the Givenchy, but yeah. if you don't need like glued down brows, they work. They, they just keep them in place. Yeah. It's more like a medium hold rather than nice. an extra hold. Oh, that's a good way to put it. Yeah. yeah. A little, it's a medium hold. Yeah. I don't know. I'm wearing a medium hold brow today. Mm-hmm. But I like your brows. They look good. Thank you. I've been having a really they good look, brow week. They look, um... More rounded? They No, like the color. I don't know. You haven't changed any of the colors. No, I haven't. I think but it's because I mix almost and brown. Maybe. Which I think I'm, I probably should go to toe, but... Okay. I know. Mm -hmm. But it's so, still yeah. my dip brow. Brows are life. Brows are life. I never would have said that ever before you, but... They are. Brows are... Literally, like, I go to work, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to throw on some mascara, some eyeliner, and some lips. But then and then I'm I like, get to work, and I'm like, bah! Yeah. I always feel like that's so strange if I don't have my brows on. Like, I don't, keep it, I don't keep a brow product in my purse like I do eyeliner and all oh, that. Oh, well, yeah. And sure. I think, I should keep a brow product in my purse. Well, the brow definer probably would be a good one just to keep your That, face. or even just a tinted brow gel, like yeah. my Elizabeth Mott. It's like, you know, sure. people have, like, light blonde hair and light blonde brows. <laughs> That's how I feel yeah. when I don't have eyebrows on. Like, ooh. Yeah, especially, like, oh my god, I bought, anyway, long Whatever. story, lots of stuff, but these are <laughs> the brows that we're working with, and if you guys have any questions about brows, um, want to see more close up. I know there's two of us, so it's hard to get like right in there. Um, we can do that. We can do a video where I do her brow, she does yeah. mine. We bring in a friend. We'll call up Sarah, say, hey girl, come sit in front of our camera. We're going to do your face and brows and stuff. Yeah, I need someone with red hair to let me do the brows because mm -hmm. I really yes. want to do that. Yes. So we can do all those things if you're interested in that. Yeah. Um, but for now, that's just kind of like what we do, how what we do right now because who knows? Maybe it always changes. Six months, we'll be doing something different. We could have squiggle brows. Like, who knows? Not today. Not today. <laughs> no. So, we hope you like this video. We are so glad to uh, do this today. Yeah. And thanks for coming back to our channel. Yep. We know we haven't been as consistent as we should be, but life is crazy. No life. Hopefully you guys understand, but we love filming and we love doing these videos for yeah. you guys. So the coolest for watching. thing happened to me. Someone what? was like, "Hey, are you guys still doing YouTube?" And I was oh, like, "Oh, stop! Where was that at?" We, we are. Sadie asked me there, girl. Oh yeah. She was like doing my hair. She's like, "See, I'm still doing videos." And I was like, "Someone actually wonders that." That's yeah, so cool. that literally happened whenever, or yeah. not at that part happened, yeah. but whenever I went to that salon to get my hair done, and she was like, "I actually watch your videos, so I already know who you are." I was like, oh, "Okay." Shout out to the hair girls. What up? <laughs> we love you, hair so, girls. So, yes. But we love you guys. We're so thankful uh, that you watch and you're wondering about us. We're fine. We're cool. We're back. We love you. And uh, we hope that you liked the video that came after this, but before it. Yeah, so we're like, we're strange. filming two in one night. So we, we hope you guys like the after before video. It'll make sense. It'll make sense. It doesn't right now because <laughs> things are weird. But love you guys. Mwah. Bye. I wish I could lift my other brow, but I can't. Dude, I have a mean eyebrow lift. Look at this puppy. Oh, yes. Bitch. Bitch. I can't because I'm trying not to smile. <laughs> anyway. All like, right. just this one brow can go severely high. <laughs>